I'm sorry. All of you have to come forward and then press the button. All right. So we can actually do this uh, joint exercises with our eyes closed. You know, the awareness gets deep down inside when we do it with our eyes closed. But no worries if you think the thoughts are coming and disturbing you, distracting you, it's completely okay to do them with eyes open also. But for today, please keep your eyes open so that you watch me. Hands on your knees. Now inhale, starting from the neck joint, bend back. Exhale, bring your neck forward. Breathe in, take your neck back. Breathe out, forward. Breathe in, neck back. Breathe out, forward. Keep your chin tucked to your chest. Feel the stretch along your spine. Stay three, stay two. And one, back to center. Now inhale, turn to right. Exhale, center. Inhale, turn left. Exhale, center. Continue, breathe in, turn right. Breathe out, center. Breathe in, turn left. Breathe out. Center. Just to watch me, you can open your eyes and then quickly close your eyes. Continue the practice. Breathe in, turn right. Breathe out, center. Breathe in, turn left. Breathe out, center. Let's go with neck rotation. But one thing to keep in mind while you go with rotation is not to take your neck backward. Okay, it's just the half, the semicircle that we do. And then from here, quickly, you just bend your neck to the left and come forward. It's the front semicircle, not to go with that back semicircle, okay? This is not really supported by the neck joint. Let's begin clockwise three, anti-clockwise three. Breathe in, turn to the left and breathe out. Breathe in, turn left and breathe out. One more, breathe in, turn left and breathe out. Anti-clockwise, breathe in, turn left and breathe out. Slow and nice, slower the better. Breathe in, turn left, right. And breathe out one last time. Breathe in, turn right, and breathe out. Excellent. Coming to our shoulder joint. I say just up and down moment. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Push it up. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Breathe in, up. Breathe out, down, three more. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Last time, breathe in, up, and breathe out, down. Shoulder rotation. Make us move our shoulders clockwise. Two, three, accompanied with slow breath. Four, and five. Anti-clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Now place your palms on your shoulder. Continue the rotation with your shoulder. Bring your elbows together. Go for a nice rounding, clockwise. One, exhale. Inhale, take your hands back, exhale. Three, exhale. Elbows together, four, exhale, last one. 
five, exhale, anti-clockwise, bring your elbows together, one, inhale, and exhale, two, inhale, and exhale, three, inhale, and exhale, four, inhale, exhale, last one, five, inhale, and exhale, see these are the various movements that we can give our elbows, one is much better than the other. Simple to a little highly intense one. Now just the right hand rotation. For as deep as you can. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax. Left hand. One, Two, take it as much back as you can. Three, four, and five. Good. Right hand anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five, X. Coming to the elbows now. One, two, stretch. Three, stretch. Four, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now coming to the wrist joint. Make a fist with your palms and go with rotation. One, you can keep your elbows bent. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not to forget the finger joints as well. They are major roles. In circulation of energy, open, close, open, close. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So one other thing that we can do here is exhale and throw your hands up. Exhale and throw and feel the rush of blood towards the fingertips. Exhale. Five more. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three, inhale, two, inhale, one, and release. Just a bit of rest here. Observe your upper body joint. Watch your neck joint, the shoulders, the elbow joint, the wrist, and your minor finger joint. How do they all feel? Do you feel that warming sensation, the heat there in every joint? If yes, that shows that abundant circulation with the movement. You just take your awareness to the rest of the joint. Feet your hip joint, knee joint, ankle joint. How do they feel? As of now, you can compare the same feeling later after we give the joint movement. Good. Just stretch your hands forward. Inhale, open your arms out. Exhale, release. Breathe in, open your arms out. Exhale, release. We're doing this for the breathing practice, expanding the lungs now, okay? Breathe in, expand your chest. You may close your eyes. Feeling the expansion in your lungs and a more volume of air in. Exhale, release. Breathe in, you may look back. Breathe out and hug yourself. 
Round your back as you hug yourself. Breathe in, open your arms out, expand your chest, give a soft bend, back bend. Breathe out, hunch yourself, round your back, and keep a tight hug and feel that warmth. Breathe in, feel the coolness, feel the fresh air flowing on you. Breathe out, feel that love, feel that warmth, feel that secure feeling. One last time, breathe in, open up. And breathe out, hug yourself. Excellent release. When it comes to the spine, we all know the five different kinds of movement our spine needs every day. Let me mention once again, the five different are. One is the extension or elongation. One is the other. Second one, forward bend. The third one, back bend. The fourth one, side bend. And the fifth one, twist. Okay, these are five important movements that we have to give our spine every day to maintain great health of the spine. Otherwise, we end up with pain in any part of the spine. And we all know what kind of problems start coming up to our spine. The first part to start with issues usually is your spine as it takes a lot of stress and load. Great. Let's begin. Interlock your fingers. The first one, stretch and elongate. Tuck your core in. Stay five, stay four, not to arch your lower back, straighten your back. Stay three, stay two, release. One more time, interlock your fingers, stretch your hands up this time, chin tuck to your chest. Stay five, stay four, stay three, pull and extend. Stay two and one, release. One last time, interlock your fingers. Stretch your hands up, not to raise your shoulders, okay? The shoulder will be pushed downward, but you will be extending your spine. There is a difference between extending the shoulders and spine, feel that. Push the shoulders down, extend the spine. Stay three, stay two, and one. Excellent, release. Tie your hands behind you. Inhale, bend back. Exhale and lean forward from your lower spine. Enjoy that feel as your spine goes with various different movements. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward bend. You may do this even in Vajrasana. Inhale, bend up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look up and give a slight back bend. Exhale, forward. Continue to enjoy that move. Breathe in. Soft back bend. You may press your palms down. Your soft back bend. Exhale forward. One more. Breathe in. A soft back bend. Breathe out forward. Now breathe in. Come up. Place your palms behind you. This time we'll accompany a back bend as well. Pressing your palms, not to put too much of load on your wrist joint. Take the weight in your core and hips. Inhale and lift your hip buttocks. Here, go for that back bend. Stay there. Feel the spine. Feel your buttock muscles. Feel your core. Exhale. Release and stretch your hands forward. One more time. 
As you inhale, come up, place your palms down, lift your hips, buttocks up, and bend back. Stay there, continue with your breathing, hold it for some time. And exhale, buttocks down, stretch your hands forward, pull head to the floor. One last time, breathe in, palms press down and lift yourself up. Stay three, stay two, please continue breathing. And one, release and stretch forward. Back to center. Now, slide your right palm on the floor and stretch your left arm up. Lateral bend for your spine. Stay five, stay four, stay three, stay two, and one. Back to center, same thing on the other side. Stay five, four, three, two, and one. Alternate. Stretch the right. Stay five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch the left. Stay five, four, three, two, one. Continue last time. Right. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Left. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up. Now bring your right palm on your left knee and stretch. The same lateral bend. Can you sense that this stretch is a little more intense compared to the other one that we did? Stay five, continue to bend down without lifting the left side of the body. Your entire lower body is pressed down. The stretch starts from your lower spine alone. Stay three, stay two, and one. Now take this left hand around your waist. Left hand around the waist. See if you can tuck your left palm into your right inner thigh. If not, just take the hand around the waist and twist back. Keep your spine straight and go for a deep twist as much as you can. With each exhalation, twist a little more. Let the twist come from your spine and not from your neck. Stay three. Stay two. And one. Release. Same thing on the other side. Left palm on your right knee. Stretch. Stretch. Continue with slow, deep breath. Feel free to close your eyes. Take a deep breath, inhale, and as you exhale, let go of your body and bend slightly more. Inhale, and exhale, let your body stretch. Inhale, and exhale, a little more without lifting the right knee up. Stay three, stay two, and one. Come up. Take the same right hand around your waist. If possible, tuck your right palm into your left inner thigh. Twist. Find to be straight. Stay five. Now, once again, inhale, take a deep breath in. 
As you exhale, twist your spine a little more. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, twist a little more. Deep breath in. As you exhale, do a little more twist. This is how you deepen into the asana, deepen into the stretches and twists. Day three. Day two. And one. Excellent. Release. Back to center. Eyes closed. A moment of deep silence. We have given the five different movements required for our spine. Just watch the subtle changes in your spine. You may relate it. How was it before and how is it after a few simple spinal stretches? Slow, deep breath and acknowledge the changes in your spine. Very nice. Now stretch your right leg to the side. Stretch the right leg out to the side. Palm press in front of you. Slide your palm forward, 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 forward. If possible, bring your forehead down on the floor. Otherwise, it's okay. Just hang it in the air. Awareness on the stretch in your right leg. Please do not bend your knee. Flex your right toes towards your body. Feel that opening of your right hip as well. Stay three. Stay two. And one. Back to center. Now from here, we'll go to the pigeon. Just turn yourself, hip rotated inward into a pigeon. Now, if any of you need a pillow underneath, you can just take a pillow. Okay, make sure your quadricep has pressed the floor. Inward rotation of the hip joint. Good. Inhale, look up. Press your palms down. Inhale, a soft back bend. Exhale, lean forward. Forehead to the floor. Let's continue. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back bend. This is acting on the hip joint as well as the leg in your muscles. Exhale, down. Three more. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down. Inhale, back bend, exhale, done. One last time, breathe in, bend back. Now as you breathe out, bring your chin into your palm. Rest and relax. Take your awareness on the opening of your right hip. And then bring it, bring the awareness to your left glute muscles. Those are your buttocks being stretched. The left thigh 
the left knee joint and the stretch up till your left toe. Now, if possible, you will stretch your hands forward and bring your forehead down on the floor or on a pillow. Stay there for five, stay four, stay three, stay two, and one. Excellent. Gently come back. Very gently. Come on. Release your legs. Stretch your legs forward. Good. Bend the right knee. Release. Left bend. Release. Right bend. Release. Left. Release. Right. Down. Left. Down. You may even take the wall support if you want to. Left. Release. Ten. Nine. Foot in the air. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Now hug both your knees. If possible, keep the feet in the air. Otherwise, it's okay. You may place it down. Stay there. For three, stay two, and one. Can we give ankle rotation here? One. Two, three, four, five. Anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if any of you have placed your leg down, you may just bring it forward and go with ankle rotation. Okay, clockwise five, anti clockwise five. Others who are able to keep your feet up in the air, one more round. One, Two, slow and gentle. Three, four, and five. Anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Release. Good. Now fold your right leg and stretch your left leg out. Hold your right in and left leg stretched out. Now, bring your palms in front of you. Slowly crawl your palms forward, 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 forward. And stay there. If possible, bring the forehead down. Otherwise, it's okay in the air. Now, flex your left toes in towards your body. Please see to it that your buttocks are pressed on the floor, not to lift your buttocks up. Stay there for five. Stay for awareness on the deep stretch along the back of your left leg and the stretch in your left hip. Stay three. Stay two. And one, inhale back to center. And then rotate this left hip inward and come to a pigeon. Now, if you need, you may place the pillow underneath your butt. All right, see that. Make sure your left knee has not turned outward, the hip inward. Okay, palms press down. Now, lifting your buttocks up slightly reduces that intensity on this knee as well. Okay, so anyone with knee issues can also lift, though you have this flexibility in your hip joint. It's advisable to lift it up so that there is not much of pressure on your knee. Palms down, 
Now inhale, soft back bend. Exhale, pull head down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, and down. Very slow and gentle. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down. Keep your awareness around your hip region. Three more. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forehead down. Two more. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, forward. One last time. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, bring your chin into your palms, elbows down on the floor. Stay there for three. You might feel that this relaxation that you're getting now was a much needed one, isn't it? I don't want to give you any instructions here. Silently just enjoy that relaxed feeling. And then stretch your hands above your head and bring the forehead on the pillow or if possible on the mat. Five. Feel the body opening up at your left hip and feel the right glute. Awareness at your right knee joint and the stretch moving up to your right toe. And one. Gently come up. And lie down on your back. Take a belt or dupatta with you and lie down on your back. Okay. I'm sure all of us feel that need to give a lot of movement to our knee joints, which tends to get loaded and tired very soon. Very important to keep our knee joints active and strong. So let us give a little more to our knee joints. So you may keep your left knee bent and take the supata around your right foot. Stretch the right leg. Make sure your elbows are completely stretched out. Stay there for five. Stay four. Keep pushing the knee outward. Stay three. Stay two. And one. Now bend the knee. Stretch. When I say stretch, lock this knee joint. Push it out and lock it. Bend the knee. Stretch and lock. Bend. This is an excellent practice for knee issues. Stretch the joint. Let's go with seven more. Seven. Stretch. Six. Stretch. Five. Stretch. Four. Stretch. Three. Stretch. Two. Stretch. One. And stretch. Hold it there for five. Four. Three. Two and one. Bend. 
bend the knee and release. Folding the right knee, take the belt around your left foot. Stretch that left leg out. Put an effort to stretch it out completely. Feel free to close your eyes and enjoy that stretch, starting from your lower back and going up till your toes. Stay five. Stay four. Now this stretch can be felt only if your knee joint is locked, not otherwise. So please push your knee out and lock it there. Stay three. Stay two. And one. Time to give that joint exercise. Bend and stretch. Lock it. Bend, stretch and lock. Three, stretch and lock. Four, lock. Five, lock. Feel the strengthening of the muscles around your knee joint. Lock. Six, lock. Feel your quadricep, the hamstring, the calf muscle. Feel the sensation in these muscles. Three more. Three. Lock. Two. Lock. And the last one. Lock it there. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe. And now take both your feet into the dupatta both your feet and stretch them both up. Eyes closed, all of you. Make sure your elbows are used to the maximum extent, not here, please. We want our elbows to be utilized completely, so stretch them up. Now this time we will lift our upper body slightly and stay there. Continue to breathe five, breathe four, breathe three, keep your neck active, breathe two and one. Just relax your upper body. Let us try and pull the lower body towards the upper body as much as possible. Stretch without bending the knee. Even if it's about an inch, that should be good enough to feel that intense stretch along the back of your leg. Stay there for five, as much as you can pull it, but remember without bending the knee. Four, three, two, and one, bend the knees, stretch them both. Bend the knees, stretch, push the knee joint out. Bend, out. Bend, out. Three more. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Do not worry if you hear a few clicking sounds in your knee, no worry. Stretch, last one, bend, and stretch. Stay three, stay two, and one. Now, can we just open the belt and stretch our legs outward as wide as we can? 
as wide as you can, just stretch your legs up. Stretch, 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 stretch. As wide as the belt is or as wide as the dupatta is. Continue to push your knee outward. Keep your knee locked. Eyes closed. Stay five. Stay four. Stay three. The intensity of the asana reduces to a great extent if the knees are bent. So please push the knees outward. Stay three. Stay two. And one. Pass the center. And gently release them now. Complete. Good. Spread your legs apart. Now, hug your knees. Hug your knees. And hold your big toes. Hold your big toes. The thigh bone is parallel to the floor. The happy baby pose. Your legs are apart. You're holding the big toe using the first two fingers. Continue to push your thighs down towards the floor. Enjoy that stretch in your thighs. So just rock and roll to right and left. Rock and roll. Happy baby Pusanta Shishuasana. But you will feel really good when you can press the thighs more and more downward. Not if it is here, okay? It's a struggle if it's here. So bring the thighs outward, outside of your body, and try to press them down. And roll. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Excellent. Pull your legs in Sukhasana. Pull your legs in Sukhasana, holding the ankles there or holding the feet. Just press the knees to your chest. Day five. Just the Sukhasana here. Or if any of you can, you will just interlock your fingers around your legs. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hug your knees to chest. Our usual lumbar stretch. Both knees to the left, bring them down to the floor. Feet down, knees down, either on the floor or on pillow. Both shoulders press down. High right hand stretched out, head and neck turn to the right. Stay five, four, three, Two and one. Back to center. Both knees to the right. Push them down to the floor. Stretch your left hand out. Head and neck to the left. Eyes closed. Enjoy the deep stretch along your lumbar region. Make sure your knees are placed close to your chest and not far apart. Stay five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center. Ready. Into Shavasana, legs apart, palms facing the roof. 
adjust your back well so that you feel comfortable you may just lift your spine up above the floor and place it down again lift your buttocks up and down place it on the floor to a gentle movement to your neck right to left you may also lift your hands up and then place them down on the floor feel comfortable come down your entire self we have completed the practice today take a quick glance at your entire body this time we are we have want to take our awareness only at the physical body remember we started with the joint exercises and a few stretches to the muscles feel the entire joints of the body from top to bottom feel your neck joint feel your shoulder joint feel your elbows feel your wrist feel your finger joint feel your hip joint feel your knee joint the ankle and finally wiggle your toes wiggle your toes and let go of any stress or strain if you think is held at any joint just wiggle your toes and throw them out the stress strain or tension from any joint from your body as you took a glance from top to bottom if you think there is any left just throw them out to your toes yes you may stop wiggling your toes Now take a quick glance at your muscles of the body. Relax your facial muscles. Bring a beautiful smile on the face. Relax your neck muscles. relax the muscles around your shoulder relax your chest muscles relax your entire muscles of your arm completely relax your upper back muscles mid back and the lower back muscles when i say relax if you think there is any stress tension rigidity left in those muscles consciously you will just let them out through an exhalation relax your buttock and just surrender those muscles not to hold them tight as i mentioned to relax them relax the muscles around your hip joint relax the entire muscles around your waist region relax your thighs relax your hamstring muscles relax the muscles around your knee joint relax the muscles around your shin bone at the front at the top part relax your calf muscles relax the muscles around your ankle joint 
Relax your entire feet. Now, any strain, tension, rigidity left out in any of the muscles, just to wiggle your toes and let them out of your body. Feel yourself completely relaxed. We will now be chanting a Umakara, five rounds. Take a slow, deep breath in and chant the Umakara for as long as you can. Each round for as long as you can. So deeper the breath, longer the chant, and more the relaxation. Let's begin, five rounds. Slow, deep breath in Moment of complete and deep silence. More the silence, better the connection with your own self. Try to establish that connection with yourself. Complete peace. Complete peace.
If you feel ready to come up, gently move your toes, move your fingers, move your neck right to left. Those who would want to stay there for longer, please continue to do so. Now others, feet together, right hand above your head. Folding your left knee, roll on to your right hand. Feel that entire body weight on your right side. Stay there for a moment. And slowly come up to a comfortable sitting posture. Back straight. Namaskar at the heart center. Let's close the session praying good for everyone around us. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramaya, sarve bhadrani pashyantu, ma kashchit dukkha bhasave, om shanti, shanti, Shanti. And side at the back, inhale, bend back. Exhale, bend forward to salute Mother Earth, parents, teachers, and all might. Inhale, come up. Gently rub your palms together. Take the energy back to yourself. Rubbing against various parts, top to bottom, to the eyes, face, neck, shoulders, arms, your chest, abdomen, to your entire spine. Feel the energy transfer in the form of warmth or heat to your entire legs and feet. With a beautiful smile, gently. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Namaste.